number 647. Keldeo, the cult Pokemon. By blasting water from its hooves, it can glide across water. It excels at using leg moves while battling. Kind of needed a second pass over this Pokedex entry, didn't they? Using water twice in the same sentence, ever uttering the phrase leg moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leg moves is very unspecific, I feel. <laughs> Yeah, this is another one I had never seen before we started doing prep for this episode. It's those Gen 5 legendaries yeah. that'll get you. They're entirely unremarkable. I had a quick look over the Bulbapedia entry for Keldeo, and I just came out from it more confused. It's a unicorn, it knows how to sword fight, it's part of the Pokemon Avengers for some reason. <laughs> I just... please, tell me what's going on here. Yeah, sure. So Keldeo is part of the Musketeers trio. It's the fourth member of the trio, mm. uh, just like there was a fourth Musketeer. I'd love to tell you all about that, but God, I don't care about the three Musketeers. <laughs> um, and yeah, they're kind of like cops, but for Pokemon, I guess. That's maybe an unfair characterization. They seem to have like a real bent against humans who abuse Pokemon, which I think is actually fair enough for yeah. them to, to mobilize about that. So actually I, I've been unfair in my characterization of these uh, friends, but Keldeo was an event Pokemon originally. Oh God. <laughs> so you could get the three main ones in the game. There's Cabalion, Terrakion, and then Verizion. But let's get away from Pokemon for a second, and let's talk about some Scottish lore. Okay. So, Keldeo seems to be closely modelled on the Kelpie. Oh. Uh, not the dog, but in fact- <laughs> No, I, I know not the dog. <laughs> <laughs> but our audience might not. They love dogs. That's why they're listening to a Pokemon podcast to hear about all the dogs we've got in store. <laughs> they love dogs. They hate water horse demon mm. things. Yeah, that is a Kelpie. It's a water horse demon thing. <laughs> uh, they like to run across the surface of the water. They're spooky. They are considered often to be demonic. They often have a human form, and the thing that distinguishes the human form is that it'll still have hooves, uh, which is what makes them considered demonic, because you got hooves, then you're, you know, you must be in with Satan. That's my opinion on horses. Too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the most famous Kelpie is actually the Kelpie of Loch Ness. So before there was the modern idea of the Loch Ness monster, there was actually the Kelpie of Loch Ness. And I think some people think it kind of merged into what we think of as the Loch Ness monster, like the myth hmm. did. I instead would like to think that the two hang out. <laughs> um, I think that's much better. No, um, I think the Loch Ness Monster and the Kelpie of Loch Ness got into a big fight, <laughs> and the Loch Ness Monster won, and the Kelpie had to find somewhere else to live. Aww, and it went to the Pokemon universe. <laughs> yeah. But Keltio's not such a bad guy. It doesn't really look like a demon to me. No, it doesn't. No. However, it is, at its core, a horse. So I gave it three <laughs> out of five. <laughs> okay. Well, I was going to give it three out of five, but now that you've said that, I'm going to give it four out of five. All right, well, begrudgingly, that brings us to 7 out of 10 for Keldeo. Next! Next. 